Hey everyone, welcome to the quad on ATP synthase. So in this quad, we're going to take a much closer look at the action of ATP synthase, which is part of our electron transport chain, to create ATP. Keep in mind that this is not substrate level phosphorylation. We are going to use instead a hydrogen ion concentration gradient to create ATP. And when it occurs in the mitochondria, it is uh, oxidative phosphorylation. So what you're not seeing in this diagram, uh, what you do see in this diagram, let's start with that, is the phospholipid bilayer. Remember that the tails are hydrophobic, and that's going to prevent charged or polar molecules from freely crossing the membrane. Um, and then you have your ATP synthase here, and then we have our hydrogens, and hydrogens have a charge on them. They are positive. So they will not be able to freely cross the membrane. They're going to have to pass through a specialized transmembrane channel. And in this case, that transmembrane channel is ATP synthase. So what we're not showing you in this picture is how the electron transport chain, um, we'll just say further on this side, the electron transport chain is the one that creates your hydrogen ion concentration gradient. High hydrogen concentration thanks to a series of embedded transmembrane proteins that will pump hydrogen across from the matrix into the inner membrane space. And so in here is where you'll have your lowest pH. So pH is very, very low, meaning that it has a high ion hydrogen ion concentration gradient. And so what's going to happen is your hydrogen is going to diffuse down its concentration gradient. And as it's moving, that the, the, the kinetic energy of that hydrogen is going to create a turning action here with the ATP synthase. It's kind of like the way that uh, wind passing over a wind turbine would cause it to spin, or a windmill also. Um, so as the hydrogen is moving down its concentration gradient from the inner membrane space to the matrix, it's going to cause this to, to spin, and that's going to provide the energy that's needed to phosphorylate ADP with inorganic phosphate into ATP. So we're not actually using ATP synthase is an enzyme, but we're not converting this enzyme into a product, which is why this is not substrate level phosphorylation. So here's your hydrogen on the other side. And so for roughly for every hydrogen that comes through, I'm sorry, for every um, NADH, we're going to get three additional hydrogens here. That means three more are going to leave and we're going to generate ATP. That's not a, it's not an exact rule, but it's pretty close. So we're going to produce this ATP um, as the hydrogen is moving, that kinetic energy moving down its concentration gradient. And so this process is termed oxidative phosphorylation in the mitochondria it is not substrate level phosphorylation anymore. Thanks for watching.